Good morning. It's Friday. Oh, back to a terrible night's sleep again. I felt like I couldn't get to sleep last night and I felt like I kept waking up. I couldn't track my sleep last night and my Fitbit died. So I only charged it up a couple of days ago. Battery went a bit funny. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer this time, it should last about five days. So yeah, Christmas party tonight, which will be for me a late one, and I'm driving as well. So I have to be extra careful. And shopping tomorrow. <laughs> Been unprepared this year, not really sorted out Christmas presents. I need to sort that out, and then. Go from there. Alright. I should probably get up and do something because if I don't, I'm not gonna be able to do anything at all today, even though I'm not be able to work. If I don't move now, I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm not moving from the sofa. Alright. Speak to you later. Good evening. I am heading home. It's the night of the Christmas party. We've been allowed to give half an hour early. Let's can beautify ourselves. Oh. My car smells. The aftershave was spraying on it this morning to make sure there is no remnants of dog muck. Death to dog muck and all he stands for. screen off. It might actually be some of the inside as well. Oh. Bloody cold. Bloody cold like it's chilly. Oh. It's the colder. The same as yesterday. It's colder this evening. Wait for it to warm my car to warm up a little bit more than Aircon on. Colder in the evening, yesterday and today, than it was in the morning. You had a, th a thunk it was the other way round. And again, there's not much cloud cover, so the, uh, there isn't any heat that would have come has disappeared off because there's no blanket of cloud to keep him in. There we go. I'm being very British. I'm talking about the weather. I'm talking weather theory. What other weather theories are there? In other words, you, know, you need cloud to keep heating. Because you don't want too much cloud, otherwise you don't get sun. It's the balance of cloud. What is the correct ratio of cloud to sky to make it feel light and bright? But still keep the heat in. Hmm. That's the question. Has anyone ever done that study? The correct, the optimal ratio of cloud to clear sky. Considering some of the weird things they have, um, money has been spent on to answer certain questions, like why bread or toast falls butter side down. Apparently the average table height, whatever it may be, only allows for a 180 degree spin on something that falls off of it. But if you were to increase the table height to I think it was 180 centimeters or about six foot then it would allow for the full 360 degree flip and it would land butter side up I remember having this conversation with my parents and then we got on to then we started talking about why cats always land on their feet and then uh, so I made the joke of well what happens if you tie 
a piece of buttered toast to the top of a cat and pushed it off a table, what would happen? To which my dad thought we were buttering, we were talking about buttering cats. In general, just sort of get a cat and butter it. And then that proceeded to a conversation as to whether you could actually butter a cat. And it would depend on the kind of cat and its personality and its present mood when you attempted to butter butter it. Is it either it will attempt to lick the butter off, so you've got to somehow butter it faster than it can lick itself clean, or it would get really pissed off and try and claw your eyes out. And then we realised this is probably not the kind of conversation we should be having and we could probably get done by the RSPCA. But then again, could we for just discussing it, or would it actually be the perpetration of the act? Not that we would, it was just a purely theoretical exercise. And then talking about cats and theoretical exercises, Schrodinger's cat. proper little brain teaser and something sort of like best way to sort of describe quantum some sort of very basic principles of quantum physics um, yeah, for a layman which you know I am really I think most of us are <laughs> the fact that there is a cat in a box it is an opaque box so you can't see in. In that box there is a vial of poison with a mechanism that can break it, releasing the poison which will kill the cat. But what you don't know is when that mechanism will fire and break the vial, releasing the poison that will kill the cat. So without actually opening the box, you are unable to tell whether at that moment the cat is alive or the cat is dead. So while that box is closed, that cat exists in a state of quantum flux where it is either where it is both alive and dead simultaneously. is you know kind of a mind-boggling thing is I it, you know when you most people think of life and death as you know very black and white cut and dry is you're either alive or you're dead there is no ifs buts or maybes it is you are one or the other but not this cat not Schrodinger's cat there's also dogs Pavlov's dogs I've heard that saying but I'm not sure about that one, I'd have to look it up and what that's about. I'm not sure where that comes from. Flashing lights, ambulance. Okay, well, I think I've boggled minds enough today and I need to sort of get back. Hopefully, I can try and get this done before I go to the Christmas party. Anyway, have a good Saturday. I shall see you on the morrow. I may get some clips tonight. I don't know. We'll just see. Toodaloo.